They're gonna kill you. Which ones? All of them! Go easy on me, guys. Shit, kid. So I wanted to start just by asking about motorball. I'm curious just about the challenge of creating an entire new sport that you're introducing to fans, but also obviously the kind of creation of it visually and performing it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, in, the, it's in the manga. You know, it wasn't in the two books that Jim was adapting into the script, but he, he pulled it out of book three and four. He said, you know, I think fans of the manga would be really upset if they got an Alita movie and there's no motorball. <laughs> and he found a really cool way to use it where they're not even playing the game. They're all just trying to kill her, which I thought was <laughs> awesome because then it's more character driven. There were specific moments during all of those uh, motorball battles that um, that we actually shot separately. Um, when he's trying to gr like push my head into the ground and I break before I bust through uh, the glass at the starting line, take it easy on me guys. You <laughs> yeah. know, taking off, uh, all of those things were shot we had a start line where all of them were together we're so she could right actually there. interact with everybody um, even though all their bodies were going to be replaced we still had to photograph all their faces yeah, and as the action's that. happening i'm actually off to the side watching an animatic a loose animatic a rough animatic um and i'm flailing around in space and doing, um, doing all the expressions all of those movements. And, stuff, yeah. and so i really uh was happy i took ballet and gymnastics <laughs> and step squad because it was uh uh, it was, it was fun. Obviously, your body has gone through a tremendous transformation in the, even just seeing uh, what he was going to look like, how it kind of motivated changes in the way that you move. That's a good question, an interesting question. You know, obviously I'd done the script work and the analysis and, you know, knew that this character, you know, is very vain and arrogant and, and powerful and swaggering, you know, so there's, there's a certain physicality that kind of comes with that automatically, you know, and then Robert showed me the key art and I saw the back and, you know, you can imagine that if you were this decorative character that you, the, the, that also informs the way you move, but then everything is stripped away because you're just wearing a grey mocap suit, Sure. you know, and in some ways you feel exposed because you look kind of stupid. Everybody else is looking, Kian Johnson had the most badass leather jacket every day. And I was like, you man, <laughs> you get a leather jacket and I'm wearing, I'm a Teletubby. Right. But in the end, you know, now I'm like, hey, you see my, you, you see my cyborg body? I'm with her. Actually, I'm just curious about seeing, actually getting the opportunity to see the finished film because, I mean, it was production was a couple of years ago. It's obviously very visual effects heavy. So, what was the experience like seeing it in its finished form? Oh, it was so amazing. Amazing, yeah. yeah. You know, we were, we were part of something like this just from so long ago. So, to see it, uh, you know, finally come to fruition in all its glory and just how amazing the world that they built, uh, actually, that we built, yeah. is, is just, it's really, you know, it, it's exciting. I feel like it's, these are the type of projects that I that I look forward to to being a part of in, in my career. I mean, all thanks to Weta Digital. They just did mm -hmm. such an amazing job at, you know, taking taking the reference. That's that's really all, you know all performance capture is. It's just reference. So taking reference and not then just scrapping that and doing their own thing, but truly like trying to keep the essence of the actor. You know, keeping you know the reason for our jobs alive. You know, not just saying we can do this ourselves. And I think that that kind of duality of us working together, you know, actor and then, you know, this guy behind the computer, I think they did such an amazing job at, you know, making her have a heart. You know, it's not just action. Like, there is a heart behind her. And the first time she opens her eyes, you see that. You are someone very special. Hey, kid. Not just a teenage girl. Hey, what's your problem? What is the experience of actually seeing the film all together for you? I was pretty flabbergasted because yeah. uh, I really did. I, I knew to expect something great mm -hmm. because of the people who were involved and their level of expertise in this. My husband and I saw it together and we kept kind of nudging each other and being like, what? what? <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> it really is. Sure. It, it really, um, I mean, it's just so sophisticated at this point. It's so. Um, subtle, the, uh, the detail, the expression, um, 
it's it's beautiful. You mentioned your husband. Just one thing that kind of struck me uh, just watching your character in this film is the uh, mark of that we both have jewels in our head. I know. What are the odds of that? Is there? I mean, like, is there a photo of you two together? I mean, no, no, no oh. there isn't. But how fun? Yeah, it's like how many kids can say my mom and dad both play characters with jewels in their heads? Exactly. <laughs> it's it's pretty weird. Yeah. It's a niche. And this is a movie that has been in the works for nearly 20 years now. I'm, what I'm curious though is if this movie could have, like, what, would it be a completely different movie had it been released in, say, 2002? It wouldn't have been a completely different movie because at the heart of it is still this story of empowerment, the story of self-discovery of a character. How we would have realized it would have been different. We've come out, I think, at the, the perfect time where not only are we able to realize this on a visual scale that you know, I think in many ways is unprecedented, but also we were able to wait and discover for us Rosa Salazar. You know, and, and that she was born to play this part, and we are so fortunate that we're doing it now. Uh, yeah, where's the pan? You got the talent to make some serious cash.